Hey beautiful people, how are you? My name is Connor. My name is Brittany. Today we are going to be talking about the best thing you can do for your relationship, and that's any relationship, including yourself. If you're looking for resources to grow within your relationship, we invite you to come on over to our free membership site. We've got videos to help you communicate, learn to love more compassionately, more openly, and we've got a lot of exercises available to you as well. And we've been doing it over and over again recently, yeah. and as it's happening and when I feel it coming to happen, it feels like <laughs> death, and it is death. It is. And on the other side of being present with that death, that release, that pain, that fear, is a new level of liberation and true love and it's the best thing I've ever experienced. And to do it in relation with somebody else is so powerful. Yeah, on this channel we talk a lot about unconditional love. Unconditional love. And what does that really mean? You know, love not having conditions to it. Nothing attached to the love that you feel inside of yourself. Freely being able to feel love and share love without someone else having to show up a certain way or for you having to show up a certain way for the external world having to look like a certain thing. And the reason that we have these constructs come in and condition our love is all based on attachment, an idea of how something is supposed to be, a preconceived notion of what a relationship is supposed to be, of what love is supposed to look like. And as we let those things go, we let down the conditional love and we open up to the unconditional love, which is synonymous with just love. Because I think love with conditions is love plus conditions. And the conditions are coming from somewhere else. They're not actually coming from love. So we just said it, but the very basic message of this video is let go of all attachments. That's the best thing you can do for your relationship. And what does that really mean? Like what is an attachment in the first place? Yeah, for me, it can, it feels like anything that is gripping, anything that feels urgent, anything that's not just peaceful, calm, relaxed, in a space where love can flow through me. So if in a relationship that comes up where I feel like Connor is doing something or I fear that he's going to do something or he tells me about something, like any situation that could come up and then my response inside is to feel like, I feel attached to it. In some way, what he shared with me has provoked a reaction. And that reaction, as opposed to acting from that space or being caught in it in my mind or in like the pain inside of me, I'm releasing. I'm just letting myself feel it. I'm watching myself feel it. That part feels important. And I'm letting it go because it's not real and it's not helpful. Mm -hmm. And it's ultimately keeping me, the attachment is keeping me from being present with Connor in that moment instead of a scenario where Connor tells me about something in his life or I perceive something about Connor's life and I'm just observing it and probably I'm feeling excitement about it because cool, a new thing in your life or some unfolding. Attachment for me feels like I'm always judging something. I'm saying like, this is good, this mm. is bad. I want it to be this way. I don't want it to be that way. Attachments can show up as positive things too. I'm attached to the way our love has felt. I want it to feel this way forever. <laughs> or I'm, I'm repelled by the way this love has felt. I don't want it to feel that way. It's just like always feeling like what's happening isn't good enough. That yeah. is attachment. So I actually think our world lives in that place of judgment and feeling swayed by anything outside of themselves most of the time. So this might feel like a big deal and it is a big deal and it's so worth it. And if you're watching this, it's probably because you've been doing this in some way or you're feeling it coming or you're feeling like something feels off. Hmm. Yeah, I love what you said about these, these, these things aren't real. And I think going into that a little bit more is like these stories that we create that are in the attachment based realm, they really are not reality. We have a, a notion, an idea of how something is supposed to look or be based on experience from the past. And it has really nothing to do with our present situation. For me, what these strings of attachment are connected to are pools of healing that need attention. 
And so we can use when we have a signal like, wow, I'm being triggered by this thing. I'm not in the present moment. I'm feeling overwhelmed. Clearly, I'm very attached to this being a certain way. That's a really wonderful message. It's an anchor. It's like you can follow that line down and find where that recessed imagery is, where that <laughs> recessed story is, and you can unburden yourself. And that's, a, that's a, maybe a lifelong process for some of us. And for some of us, maybe it's just sitting down and meditating for an hour and really allowing ourselves to feel the pain. But either way, I think that it, these triggers that are based in attachment are not in themselves bad or wrong. And in our human experience, I really want to be feeling the full spectrum of emotion. So these strings of attachment, I think are wonderful messages to us to go and dive and find out what's going on and just feel. Most importantly, just feel the feeling. And in the present moment, that's what we're doing. And if we do have a more detached existence, we're still going to feel the full spectrum of emotion. It just means that we're going to be present with it without a story attached to it. And just like love, love is going to be there at the center of that constantly, rather than it feeling like, well, sometimes I can open my heart and sometimes I have to close my heart. We're talking about the best thing for your relationship is to be able to detach in order to open your heart and be in the present moment. And I think the term de detach can be a little triggering in itself for some people because it can feel like you're all alone. You're just by yourself. You have nothing to cling to anymore. And in a way that is exactly what we're talking about. You know, to be unattached to what happens in our relationship. I have ideas and visions and goals and excitements about tomorrow and the next day and years from now. But I can have all those things in a way that feels like I'm not clinging to it. If those things don't happen, I'm not going to die. I'm not going to be angry with you. I'm going to keep my heart open as best as I can. Yeah, for me, it feels like those things, those visions, those excitements, yes, they might show up as like, I want this thing. But what I really think we want is the feeling. And yeah. we're, usually those visions come to us when we're in a feeling space that's excited or mm. if we're generating an image that's based on like some emotion that we're loving, it creates something. But what we want is the emotion that we're feeling now. And that's why the image comes just to bring us joy around it. Mm -hmm. Every time that I let go of this gripping and I feel like I've done it. I feel like they're gone and then something will come up and I'll feel like, no, like <laughs> I, my, did I know my heart can stay open until this thing or like mm -hmm. only if this person shows up in this way. And every time I let go and I detach, I <clears throat> very quickly have this feeling of presence and true love coming forth. And with that love, I continue to feel called to share it with you because I love you because I love, I'm a being who feels love like all of us beings. And I am very drawn to you. I'm naturally attracted to you. I love you. I feel like I have true love for you. That's not based in attachment. Mm -hmm. I just want to share this love I feel with you. And it's so beautiful to feel like we might feel fear or anger or like something we're gripping onto from the past. And when we let that go, when we allow ourselves to like, let that move through us in whatever way it comes through, I keep seeing us like, Hey, like, do you want to hang out? Mm -hmm. Do you want to like, do you want to do this stuff together? Yeah. And one tip that has been really helpful for me in that process of letting go of attachment is to allow myself to feel like we've been talking about and to sort of zoom out. So I feel like I'm watching it all happen and to drop into my sensual body. So I think very often we're in the mind mm -hmm. or we're like letting the emotion consume us to the point where like it's attaching to our, our mind is like saying it's this thing or it's that thing. But really to like feel oftentimes I'll be sobbing very hard and I'm breathing and I'm feeling my breath. I'm feeling the air on me. I'm hearing noises. I'm aware. Actually, these moments are some of the times that I've been the most present present. And I think any moment can be a portal and times of great intensity are such a great portal because, because the moment requires us to be there for it because it's so all consuming, which is great. That's our system saying, Hey, you haven't been here. 
let's be here now. <laughs> Here's all the stuff that's been trying to come out so that you can live a happy life. And I think that we are naturally detached. I think we come into this world not attached to anything and we're open to the flow of life. And then I think over time, we get ideas that we need to show up in a certain way to be loved. And we're breaking down those, those falsities. Yeah, and there are so many layers to this and it does feel like, you know, peeling an onion, there's just like another one and another one and another one. And we are doing that, we're doing that work actively and we want to invite you to do it with us yeah. so that the world can see a different way. Yeah. And there are, of course, many people that have been doing this long before we start talking oh, about yeah. it. <laughs> but this is also an opportunity for us to incite that in you, to encourage it more, because I know that you've already started doing that or you wouldn't be watching this video right this second. Yeah. And it is scary and it is intense. And I just want to reiterate that feeling the feeling is the best way to integrate the feeling without any of these thoughts attached to it, just feel it, let it run through you, let it move through you, keep your heart open and share love, you know? Like, I think that is our reason for existence, is to keep our heart open and to walk with our heart open, to share it with the world. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. We love you. So very much. <laughs>